know a few girl subscribers. Got my ass called out for that. Welcome back to the channel where we do shit cults play. Today, I'm going to tear the shit out of that truck and uh, just get away with some shit we don't need. So, I'm doing this because I got this piping kit right here. I'm going to put this full piping kit on and I got to get rid of my CCV filter and you should too anyway. Um, I had my upper oil pan fixed one time already under warranty. Um, when them filters, I guess, get clogged up it's like blowback pressure or I don't, I don't know i'm not a diesel mechanic i don't know what kind of pressure i know there's some pressure that puts on them seals down there and it mess with your oil pan and it can start leaking um some ccv this if you don't know what, it's, what the ccv filter is it's uh this thing right back there with the stickers on it um there's like two kinds there's a there's a non-serviceable one um which is just like I think it's just like nothing inside of it. And then there's a serviceable one, which is like the filter. I don't know what model trucks have the non-serviceable or servicer. I don't know. I just, all, all I know is we finna take that some bitch off. So if you wanna see how to do it, let's roll. All right, one way to check if your uh, CCV filter is clogged up or, or you know, you're about to maybe have a problem in the future is you start your truck. So we'll give her a crank and uh, you go over here to your, oil cap take this cap off and you see that coming out right there most all trucks are going to have it i would think but the worse it gets the closer you are to, to potentially having a problem so go take your shit off if it's just about to overflow like damn volcano or some shit it's probably time that you did some with your filter so just wanted to kind of throw that in the video okay there's a, there's a bunch of different ways to skin a damn cat, you know. Some people take this pipe off to get to this hose. Some people don't, you know. I'm going to try to not do it so I don't have to take this off. I'm just going to do the video on the uh, CCV delete right now. I'm doing it because when I do my piping kit, I got to have it off anyway. So it'll be kind of like a two-part. So first filter, then the piping kit. Um, but there's some 10-millimeter bolts. Let me see. All right, let, let me put the phone in the other hand, maybe, you dumb shit. Uh, uh, okay, without me losing my damn temper, which is real easy to do. So here's the filter. Uh, it's not going to focus back there. Uh, you fucking idiot. I can see it with my naked eye just damn fine. Can't see shit. All right, there's a bunch of different ways to skin a cat. Uh, a lot of people, when they take it off, they take the pipe off. I'm, I'm gonna try not to do that. So I'm gonna take, this This, this is coming off, and this tube here, you see, it, it, it goes in here and it comes to the to the box over here. There's four bolts. There's a there's a 10 millimeter bolt down there. I can't get my phone in there. There's a, another bolt uh, that's right behind this damn wire right there. And then if I can get this, uh, I can see it with my naked eye, but I can't see it. In the back corner back there, okay, you see that one right there? Right where my pinky is? That's one. I think that's the farthest back one. Nope, there's actually one farther back, so. Anyway, okay, there, that's the farthest back one, and then, where's my pinky? That little thing right there is another one. Sorry about the video skills, that's where the damn four bolts are. You probably got to get some kind of extension ratchet or something else, it's, I believe it's 10 millimeters, so. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably take a, my knife and cut this piece of piece of little plastic right here, cut it where I can get to the connector and push them clips in, and that way that'll be taken off. And then we'll take these four, four bolts out, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to remove or at least undo these fuel filter lines. So we'll do that and cut this, and then we'll take the bolts out. We're going to do it all. I don't know what order we're going to do it, but I mean, just pay attention. Hell, I done got, hell, I done got aggravated. I ain't started a damn video yet. Bush, we're gonna crack a latte and get this shit over with real quick. Um, this hose is gonna come in your kit. I don't know where, I can't see the camera. That hose coming with the kit. You're gonna have this little, you, you're gonna see the parts as we put them in. How about that? Damn. All right, I just got my phone propped up that the damn, 
it ain't gonna be the best, but I can't get a mount in here anywhere. So you take your, your knife and then you just cut this little plastic shit off. All right, we don't need that. So we're gonna cut that shit back and then just, just pull it. I mean, if you go back to stock, you need it. We ain't doing that around here. And then you take, I think I gotta get a, a maybe a screwdriver or squeeze in on them some bitches right there and twist it. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out though. Let me go get a flathead real quick. Okay. I think get that flathead twisted or something. Uh, like I said, I ain't never done this shit before. I'm about to just rip it off because I ain't putting it back on. Let me see here. Oh, maybe, maybe I push in on this thing over here. Oh, there was a little twisting right there, son. Let me see here. It probably would be a lot easier to get that down. But I think... I think it goes in right there. I don't know. If you're trying to save shit to put on later, this ain't the channel for that. We, we taking this off and we rolling. Oh, you sucker. I might take that pipe off. I don't know. I ain't gonna let it beat me like that that easy though. I know the video's long, but I don't care. Let me see here. I think I pushed down on that long part right there, maybe. <laughs> I do not know. Right, blind yourself, Colt. This probably ain't gonna be my best video. I apologize, but if you don't wanna take the pipe off, it's the kind of shit you're gonna have to just fight with. Maybe that clip comes out. Damn, that hurt. Let me try a different battery. I mean a different flathead. Oh, come on, man. Why y'all gotta make this shit so difficult to, to break the law? Come on. Get that little tab. Just, just, just tap it out. Ah, you son of a... Rip my damn fingernail open and all the shit and everything else. All right, now you don't got me the red ass. Now I ain't gonna let it. I ain't taking the pipe off. Now I'll break this son of a bitch. All right, let me see here. Two minutes and 51 seconds I've been jacking with this shit. It ain't got closer to nothing. All right. I'm pretty sure maybe I need some needle nose. I'm gonna pull them back. All right, so I think you just, see this long thing right there? I'm gonna try to just break this some bitch off. Let me see, God, there ain't nowhere to put my damn phone. Yeah, get your ass out of there. All right, so, I think you just pull that damn clip back and I can't get in there. Son of a, ooh. All right. Uh, it would have been a lot easier to just take the pipe off, dumbass. All right, all right. I, I, I'm trying to show y'all because I like to show a lot, but I'm about to just turn this son bitch off and do it my damn self. It ain't worth it. Done rip my damn finger open. How you like that? I think there's one more. 
on the other side. So you see how I like, you see how, pulled, all right, you see how I pulled, pulled that back. Damn, my finger hurts. Rip the damn finger now. See how I pulled that little piece, that little piece sticking up. See how I pulled it back. I'm a, there's another one on the other side. I'm gonna pull it back too. And then I think I'll be able to just pull it right off. All right. After fight, uh, try to get there. After fighting it with the, way too damn long, what I did is I got this screwdriver and pried it up in here after I got that one off. And I just kept pushing, pushing until it broke off. Now, I think, yeah, now it can come off. Damn. Uh, yeah, so the pipe, the pipe's in the way. But if, if you can just get a long enough screwdriver and, and, and you know, break. Let's see if I can grab, grab that thing. I ain't got nowhere to put my phone, so it's like, just. All right. I'm sorry about the damn camera. All right, so this thing, like, okay, this little clip right here, see how it's got that hook on it going in? You gotta get something under there and lift it up. There's three of them. That's the one I broke, and I was gonna get to that one. Then I said, well, I don't, why don't I just take my screwdriver and bust right through it? So that's what I did. Uh, you, you can do it however way you want, but you gotta get those three little long tabs up or just break it so that's what i did now put this camera here i'm sorry guys there is literally nowhere to put the phone and i like to show everybody everything so now in your kit you're gonna have you're gonna have this this thing okay you see how there's a rib there's a rib on there so it goes on then over and then there's like a little indention and then it gets thicker in the back again i'm going to put this thing all the way on and i'm going to zip tie later where that indention's at so you know it would be a lot easier without the damn pipe on but i'll put i'll put that the rest of the way on later but it has to go over that and then i'll zip tie it on that rib it's fixing to go over so we'll, we'll, we'll get to that step later all right so next thing you need to do is take this this filter this fuel lines off so you push push it on the red ones and then push down on it and then it's, you're gonna a little fuel is gonna come out so just just know that some fuel's coming out and this blue one i think you pull yeah you pull back and then down and you see how it slides out like that now be careful with these things because it's really they're really fragile and they'll break so get this sucker out so there's that one and then damn that stings and there's another one so i think on this this is the one so you, you pull up you see you just pull up and then you just pull back or you push in let me see yeah damn hurt my damn finger all around so just be careful with this one this is the one i think you just pull up and then come on colt you can't even remember how to do this you've done it a hundred freaking times up I think you squeeze something else, but surely it ain't just lift up. Maybe it is. Yep, that's it. All right, got them out of the way. Now that those are out of the way, your fuel filter, it just kind of, you know, you just turn it. Just counter counterclockwise. Come on, man, I'm about to lose it. And then it comes up. Just keep it upright, like not like that, because it's full of fuel. Just go move this out of the way so you got all this room for activities. Oh, diesel fuel in there stings a little bit. They said this was like a two or three hour job. Not if you just do the shit cold way. I, I, I can't see it being no two or three hours, because now all we got is pansy ass, quit being a puss. Now all we got to do is get the one, two, three, the four 10 millimeter bolts out. Probably gonna have to have some extensions, a, a U, a u-joint socket but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there but that part was a pain i didn't want to take the pipe out we'll get them 10 bolts or them four bolts out i believe they're all 10 10 millimeter and then hell all we gotta do not, then is just block one off and run, run the hose and i don't see that taking no three hours so let's roll okay maybe now maybe now you can see it a little bit better 
So right, you know, I can see it with my eyes. Right behind that, that, okay, there's the bolt. That's one bolt back there. And then there's another one there and there's two in the back. So I, I don't think I have to film. I might film the back bolt, but I mean, damn, if y'all can't take the bolts out, just know the back two are gonna be a pain in the ass. All right? I mean, literally, we just take the four bolts out. Now, with this shit out of the way and moved, it's gonna be a lot easier. So once I get the four bolts out, maybe on the last one in the back, I'll film a little bit, but you know, I'll show you what I've got to use as my socket and then I'm gonna take them out. Um, I showed you where they're at. It, it's, it's damn simple. So, you know, I got faith in you. Okay, this is what I'm gonna use. This goes on my quarter inch impact. If I can fit that in there, I will. If not, I got this little wobble socket joint right there. Okay, I'm gonna put this short 10 millimeter one on there and I got a damn assortment of different extenders. Here's one for the impact. Uh, like I said, this one's badass. It's flexible, it goes into my impact. But this is what I'm gonna use to get those four bolts out. So I'm pretty sure the only thing you're really gonna need is, is the extensions and this U-joint one right here. But just make sure you got a bunch of the tools that you're gonna need before you tear it apart. Because I mean, you're gonna have to finish it before you be driving. You know what I'm saying? Let's roll. All right, this first one, you know, it's, it's, it's loose now and I'm just spinning it. I got the U-joint and that short 10 millimeter one on it, all right? So I'm gonna do the rest off camera. It ain't hard. Okay, this is the one I couldn't show you all on film, but you see where it goes down. And I showed you the two in the back, so I'm just showing you where that one's at. I don't need the uh, new joint for that one. That, that extended and that just regular old socket can, can, can get that one. You're gonna have to move two wires there in the way. You just move them over and stick that thing on top of the nut or bolt. Okay, I got all of them out, I, I dropped one. I literally cannot, you cannot film that, but I got these two quarter inch extensions, I think. Maybe one's a 12, one's a 10. And then that U, that universal U-joint uh, socket and then a 10 millimeter. I was able to just stick it right back like here, lean it up against back there all the way. And then once I got it back there, I could kind of, I could, I was leaning on the truck and I could get my hand in between the fuel lines and I could kind of set it on top of the nut in the very back. Once I had it on top, I broke it loose and then it took me about a couple minutes just to keep on going, keep on going as much as I could. It come off a couple times, I have to put it back on, but you're, you, you literally have to have an extension. So we'll, we'll say it's here, there's my socket. So from here, you're gonna have to have an extension at least all the way to this damn little uh, coolant line right here. So right before that. So that, that's how long an extension you have to have. I ain't got no damn tape measure right now. Just get, get something that long. Cool. So that's it. Now, now I'm pretty sure this shit just, well, I'll probably have to lift something else up. I'm going to put the camera down. We'll set it up. See if I can just lift her on out of here now. So give me just a second. Okay. So I was yanking on it and it is tight at first and you have to yank and you'll hear it come up and then it, then it's loose. Uh, I, I probably need to put this phone down, put this on a tripod or something, but, uh, I'll, I'll do that so I can use two hands, but it didn't want to come off at first, but you just have to kind of break the seal. So you just have to pull up and then you'll be able to finagle it out. But I'm going to put this on a tripod and see if we can uh, film that part. Hell yeah. Got the old third hand up. It's got me a new little old tripod and Anyway, it's got this thing that folds over, and I know you don't give a shit, but I'm happy. So, now, I got both hands. I think I should be able to. Get this sucker out of here. Yeah. Don't break nothing, folks. I ain't been known to have the best temper. Okay, well. I think you needed these because this is the order of your injectors or something. If you ever need to get new injectors, like it'll tell you like they need to be like in sync or something. Well, the diesel fuel done ate it off. So before you start, damn, before you start the project, maybe take a picture of that. I'm sure they'll be able to look it up 
it somehow, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It tells you like to order something with the injectors. I don't know, I ain't no decent mechanic. Just try to take a picture of this one with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before you get into this because obvious, obviously the, the diesel fuel ate, ate it apart. So, yeah. Anyway, boom, son. Now, look at all that damn oil down. Let me put this thing down and wipe my hands off and I'll get you a little closer view. All right, so now that we got that out, you got that big hole right there. See, it's just got one threaded bolt hole. That one in the back's got two threaded bolt holes and I'll show you where everything's gonna go. All right, so this one is gonna go on the first hole to make sure you, you know your gasket's on there with one of these nuts or bolts. This one's gonna go on the back one, okay? And then this, see how that's threaded? That's threaded in there too. So I'll put that in there. And then uh, this tube is gonna go on this end, okay? But be sure to put this on first so you can tighten it, all right? So, but I've seen a lot of people put it in the truck with it on already. I can't do that. Well, we'll see. Just, just pay attention for what I do. Not all kits are the same, but it's the same concept. So we'll see. All right, on, on my kit, uh, th these star head nuts are 3 16 star head. So just letting you know, I don't know what your kit's gonna be. Every kit might be different. Um, uh, obviously the damn threads are the same on all the kits, but might be different sizes for the star head. Mine's a 3 16 All right, so like I said, first one we're gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I got all my debris off of this or whatever, just clean it up a little bit. I'll get me a little dab of that black gold, maybe. Put it around the gasket. I don't know if y'all can see. A dab of that black gold, put it around that gasket right there. And then we'll set this thing in there. There, it popped in. And then I'll thread it. I don't know if the, if the thread's lined up or not. Uh, looks like it did, so. We'll see. This one damn wire's in the way, of course. All right, so that's on there. I'm just gonna hit it. Just gonna hit it with this because I got it on this little extender. Good enough. All right. Now I got this one. Make sure it's my gasket's cleaned off. I still got a little oil on my finger. It'll be all right. So I'll go back down here. Pop this one in. Well, you can't pop it in. You gotta. Got that back one, that back thread started. Now I'll do this one. All right, so that one's in there. And I wanna just tighten those up off camera. All right, my hand tight right now. So let me go get this thing. So fast I might not even have to edit that. So now this, you know, is gonna thread in the top of this so kind of a tight fit anyway I'll thread it the rest of the way okay now I get the flashlight here I got I got that sucker on now all I gotta do is run the tubing up and stick it over the end of that and tighten it off tighten it down and we'll run the tubing down through the wheel wheel somewhere down there where it comes out all right, so I'm not sure if y'all can see it or not, but see that black tube right there? I got up under the truck and pushed it up, you know, to, I'll show you the route I took when it's all hooked up, but I pushed it up, I can reach my hand down there and grab it. So now I gotta put it on the end of that and I gotta put this uh, clamp on it as well. So I don't think that needs to be shown, 
you know, I'm gonna pull the damn black tube up, put this clamp on it, and then put it on the end of that, end of that pipe going down, and then I'm gonna tighten it. Then all we gotta do is be freaking done and have a latte. All right, Let's see if I can zoom in. You see, I got the hose and the little hose clamp on there now. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do off camera is put the damn fuel filter back on. Y'all know how to do that, but I'm gonna show you. So I went up, uh, come on. I went up behind the fuel filter. I got back here and I could kind of see. So I ran it up back behind the fuel filter and I stuck it up to where I could, uh, you, I could see where the, where I needed to get it. I just jammed it up there so it would stay. Then I went up top and fixed it. Now, all I gotta do is, uh, I'll do this off camera just so I don't make the video that much longer. But now all I'm gonna do is route this wire somewhere, you know, I'll zip tie it. And that way it just, you know, lets it go out this way. And if it, if per, for some reason it uh, makes it too dang, uh, stinkier if it starts smoking or something i'll just get a coupling put on there and get some more tubing and run it to the very back of the truck so that's what i'm gonna do some people put it back to rewrite it back to the exhaust i don't think i'm gonna do all that but now i'm gonna put everything back together off camera and then we'll crank it up and you know obviously since we took the fuel the upper filter off you can't just crank it. You're going to have to cycle it. And I have a peasant model, so I turn the key, don't crank it, turn the key, don't crank it. A couple times, if you've got a push button, you just push the button and you don't hit the brake at the same time because it'll start. So you just push it, let it cycle, push it. A couple times, you'll know, till, you, till it sounds whatever normal, and then crank it. But we'll go over that. Just know that I'm turning the key. You'll just be pushing the button. So I'm going to put this back together. We'll finish out this vid. Okay. Got the fuel. Cut the hook back up. Move these before I run them over. And then I went down here. Wow, let me put the glasses down. What I did, people ask me how my light's still going. And some bitches working just fine. Uh, anyway, I ran that tube, you know, behind the front of the wheel, up over this. I don't know what this is. Like I said, I ain't no damn mechanic. And then back right here, zip tied it. Run it over here, zip tied it, and it ended. This is what my people that installed my camper did. It looks like crap. Might have to fix that. But it ends like it ends probably right about where my doorknob is. So we'll crank, we'll we'll cycle it, and then we'll crank it up. See how she what she looks like. So, damn, I need a latte. All right, crank it. Or, so. There's one. I'll try it again. See if I can hear anything. Huh. Not good. That's why you don't crank it. Thought I had that son of a bitch on all the way. There's shit pouring out everywhere. Dumbass Colt. Okay, see, good lesson. Thought I had that son of a bitch on. I guess I didn't. Uh, yep, wasn't on all the way. Now, I think it's on now. I wish y'all could have seen that. Probably need to get some rags. Dry that off, but it'll buff. <laughs> I wish y'all could have seen that. I just saw it real quick and turned the key off. But as you can see, it, it was it was pouring out. So it's all right. Thanks to Biden, diesel's pretty cheap. So who we got beeping at me? Oh yeah, fellow deleted Duramax. He knows what's up. So we'll cycle it. Let me go make sure. Yeah, 
that's what we like to see. I can still hear it kind of filling up. So you can see we're shooting everywhere. So hey, everybody makes mistakes. I don't claim to be no mechanic. I just don't hide stuff on video like other people. So we'll do that a couple more times. One more time, maybe. <sighs> this is what you're gonna have to do. It's just like changing your fuel filters. All right, I'm fishing to crank it, I love it. All right, about latte 30. Oh, we got a Cummins over there deleted. All right. Everything looks pretty good. I don't see any loops anymore. But who knows? So let's go look and see if we got any of that pressure coming out this tube down here. I feel pressure coming out, but there's no smoke. So I feel pressure. Let's see if I got, see if it solved the uh, blow by. Nothing, nothing at all. How about that? Uh, earlier, remember in the video, I took it off and it was having some pressure shooting up. So I don't think anybody else has showed that on the video before. So I'm glad I remember it. But anyway, I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. But that's all there is to it. Now, the only thing I got to do, I didn't do on video, I got to push this on farther and put that zip tie on there. But uh, I think when I, when I do my piping kit, I think that that comes off anyway. I don't know. But the good thing about this piping kit is it comes with lock-off plates and a CCV reroute. So it's a budget kit. You know, I'm all about saving some money. But uh, anyway... I'm glad that when I took that off, you didn't see nothing anymore. So my upper oil pan is going to thank me later because I don't want to have to pay for it to get done. They did it the first time under warranty. I didn't have to pay for it, but, and I was, I was deleted and they still covered it. But uh, hopefully this solved that and I don't have to worry about it at all. But anyway, you know what time it is. I'm about to phone that damn latte because, I mean, if I wasn't filming, I probably could have done that job in maybe an hour, if that. Uh, it ain't too bad at all. We'll see if this start stinking real bad one day i don't know if it's gonna or not if it does like i said i'll run a i'll splice it out and run that t tube out farther but anyway man i appreciate y'all watching oh uh, we'll hit this freedom funnel one time and then uh we'll roll out so till next time i ain't gonna say god bless till after the freedom funnel because i just feel like I need to say god bless last human man all right, boys, girls, well, see in this video, we always got to have a freedom funnel in there somewhere, so why not, why not at the end? Oh, whoosh. so I don't know if this video helps you anyway. Uh, if it didn't, you call me a dumbass, I don't care. But uh, if you liked, somebody had the audacity to ask me if I cleaned up my freedom funnel. <laughs> It's like dumping your grease out every time you use it. No. <laughs> I ain't cleaning this sucker out. I don't care. So, I don't know. Freedom Funnel, if y'all ever see this, why don't you, why don't you sponsor you, boy? I keep saying that. But, uh, well, let's get it. Call. Boom. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you hadn't, hit that like button. So, until next time, God bless.